Hey guys, I want to introduce you to Bruce. Bruce is our Fajaca Puffer. We've had him since April of 2021. I got Bruce just because he's a puffer and he's cool. Um, I watch a lot of Aquarium Co-op's videos and they have uh, the two Fajaca Puffers, Murphy and Ladybird, and they are just really cool. Uh, those are Mabu Puffers, which are the largest puffers in the world. The Fajaca is the second largest puffer in the world. They get about 18 inches when fully grown. I got Bruce when he was about one inch long. He is now I'd say probably four inches long. He's in a 37 gallon aquarium at the moment. He's been in that since he's uh, since we got him. He is really cool. He's like watching a little bird. He flutters around through the tank. Looks at you with his eyes. Always looks like he's thinking. Uh, he eats a lot of snails. I got a lot of uh, new nuisance snails that we feed him. He also eats shrimp, bloodworms, and other fish. Uh, we can't keep anything with, with Bruce because he likes to uh, be alone. He's a loner, he's a lone wolf. We had a bristlenose pleco in there with him. I came out one day and the head was gone. I tried putting another one in there, same thing. So we uh, figured Bruce likes to be by himself. So he has a tank all to himself. Last night we fed him a shrimp, posted a little short on YouTube of him eating a shrimp, and it was pretty cool. The thing about puffers is they can eat and because they expand, so they'll just eat and eat and eat, and they won't stop. They, uh, they definitely like to engorge themselves. So Bruce is kind of like our family mascot. My wife loves him. Uh, her friends all love him. He's just a cool little guy. The cool thing is, is if you look at the sand, all the divots in the sand in his tank, that's from when he's looking for food. So what he'll do is he'll blow at the sand to move it to find a snail or any crustaceans that are hiding in the sand. So that's how they hunt. So he's always going through looking for snails or anything you can find in the tank. They're supposed to grow about an inch a month, is what they say. So he's he's on track. He's getting pretty big. We'll probably end up having to get him his own tank, uh, like a 125 is what I'll assume is what we'll put him in. I'm hoping when he gets full grown that I can throw a bunch of endlers in there and they'll be fast enough and small enough to stay away from him so I can have a bunch of endlers in there with him so he's not by himself and have a nice tank all set up with him in it. But yeah, I just wanted to show you Bruce. He's our Fajaca Puffer. Like I said, the Fajaca Puffer comes uh, from the Congo in Africa and they get about 18 inches and they're just a really cool fish. They have a personality. Every time we come out to the garage, he's always surfing the glass, always looking for food. And he's just, if you look at his eyes, he's just always looking. All right, guys, just wanted to let you see Bruce. He's uh, really cool. If you're looking to do a puffer, he's very simple, very easy to take care of. Like I said, he just has to be by himself. So it's gonna be one fish per tank. All right, guys, just wanna say thanks for watching. Hope everybody has a good night. And uh, stay tuned for more adventures.